everyone, welcome to Funny Reaction and today we're checking out the paste meeting for the Maze Runner. This should be interesting. Let's check this out. So if you enjoyed my best page meeting reaction, do watch my other page meeting reaction on my playlist page meeting reaction. Let's see what they're saying about this movie because this should be interesting. <laughs> So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking since The Hunger Games is so popular, we could do another YA novel. Oh, a ya yeah novel. No, a young adult novel. Oh. Uh, well, they're not particularly good writers. My nephew's a young adult, and he's a big dumb idiot. Well, see, the book series I'm talking about wasn't written by young adults, but about them going through some deadly, horrifying, <laughs> dystopian stuff. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, people do enjoy that. So what's this ya yeah movie about? <laughs> well, it's based on this yeah book series movie. called The Maze Runner, and it starts with this teenage are waking up in an underground elevator. Okay. And he wakes up to see a bunch of other teenage dudes staring down at him, and they call him Greeny. Greeny? You see, this place he woke up in is called the Glade, and these kids are called Gladers. Right. And there's this big old structure called the Maze, but the only ones who can go in there are called Runners. Runners. Okay, are all the kids Runners? No, there are other roles, too. They're called Builders, Baggers, Sloppers, <laughs> Cooks, ah. Med Jacks, Track Hose, Map Makers, Blood Housers. There's too many name things for me to be learning, I think. Yeah. No, they called Runners have to be careful because inside that thing called the maze, there are these things they call blades and these monsters they call grievers. Oh, boy. And if you get stung by one of the monsters they call grievers, you get infected with a virus called the flare, and that leads to something called the changing. Changing, uh-huh. The changing means you turn into something they call a crank. Okay, do these kids just sit around naming things all day? My <laughs> God! Oh, my yeah, God. so anyway, this new kid shows up, and he doesn't remember anything, not even his own name. In fact, nobody remembers anything about their lives outside the glade. All right. And so obviously he's, like, really interested in the maze and they don't really tell him anything at all about it. Wouldn't it be more productive to just tell the new kid everything, all the things they named? Yeah, but then it'd just be characters telling him all this stuff for an extended period of time. So what are we gonna do instead? Characters telling him stuff for a very <laughs> extended period of time. Oh, that does sound better. So this main character guy learns that every month a new kid comes up through that elevator and the only way to escape this place is through the maze. Alright. But they've never been able to get out no. of it, so they built this kind of society. Can they climb to the top of the maze? No, so this guy Newt explains that the vines don't make it all the way to the top, even in the spots where we can see that they make it all the way to the top. What? He says they've tried everything imaginable, so get all the way off my back about going to the top of the maze, sir. What? Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. So eventually this kid hits his head and remembers that his name is Thomas. Oh, hitting your head to remember things is tight. I forgot to turn off the oven. Oh, you dumb <laughs> bastard. Hey. So runners run through the maze every day to map it out, but it's changing all the time, and remember those monsters called grievers I mentioned? Wait, why are those called grievers? Because they, you know, kill everyone and make people sad, I guess? It makes it sound like the monsters are sad when people die. Hey, shut up, and so these things only come out at night, so you want to make sure you're out of the maze before sundown when the doors close. Oh, yikes. And nobody who's ever been stuck in there has ever made it out alive. So how does anyone know what grievers are or what stingers do to you? Moving on. Oh, you're just gonna... Yeah, it's called the continuing. It's where I just keep talking and ignore what you just said. Well, the Whoa. fact that you gave it a name does give it some legitimacy. It does, yeah. So one day at sundown, they see that their leader, Albie, has been stung, and he's not gonna make it out of the maze on time. Oh, no. Oh, and this runner, Minho's trying to get him out, so at the very last second before the walls close, Thomas runs in there with them. Might have been more helpful if he had run in before that. Maybe. So now they're <laughs> gonna have to survive the night in the maze, which is something that nobody's ever done. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Yeah. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, it turns out that hiding behind leaves works pretty well, and then a griever gets crushed by a wall. And that was it? There aren't any other dangerous things in there? I guess not, because then we're just going to cut, and it's morning. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 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 Anyway, another crazy thing that's going to happen is the elevator's going to show up and there's going to be a girl in there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And what's her deal? <laughs> well, somehow she knows Thomas's name and she freaks out and climbs to the top of this wooden platform they've built. They built an elevated platform? Yeah, with like a ladder and stuff. Why not use that to get to the top of the maze or build a big ladder? I don't know. Ah. Off my back again, please. Fair enough. And she has these two vials of liquid with her. I love a good vial of liquid. What do these bad boys do? Well, Albie is going through the changing and is going to turn into a zombie type thing, so they're like, hey, we might as well inject this into him and see what happens. And it turns out it does heal him and restores his memory. A so, very convenient liquid. But then the maze walls don't close for some reason and a bunch of grievers come out and attack. Oh no. Yeah, so Albie and a bunch of other people die and then Thomas stabs himself with a griever sting. Whoa. What? Why? Well, he figures that now they'll use that second vial on him and he'll remember everything. That vial could have saved someone's life. Yeah, but he's the main character, so his memories are more important Whoa. than that. Oh, okay. So then he has some flashbacks. Wait, weren't the grievers attacking? 
Oh, yeah, they all left. How come? Because we're done with that scene oh my now. God. Oh, gotcha. So then Thomas wants everybody to run into the maze with him because he found this kind of exit thing. Okay. But there's this one guy who's been mad at him the whole movie that wants to stop them. And what's his deal? Eyebrows. <laughs> Sick. But then most of the <laughs> oh, people are like, back off, this. eyebrows. We want to go into the maze now. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> and eventually they're going to get to this wall, but they need to enter a code and grievers are attacking. Oh, how are they going to figure out the code? Yeah, we'll see. Some of the runners had made this handmade model of the maze based on their previous runs. A solid model of a map that changes every night? That's right, yeah. And Minho had explained that the different sections open and close in a regular sequence. So they're like, ah, that must be the code. If it just loops continuously, how do they know which number is the first in the sequence? Moving, Moving on. on. Oh, the continuing. So then they manage to get out they and they find a no video of a lady problems. who's like, I'm sure you want answers, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. And so that's about it. Oh, we don't get any answers. Oh, God, no. We got to get people to come see the next movies. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking we do three of these. So four of them. No, that's, I meant three. Right, but the third one you break up into two parts. That's what you're supposed to do with yeah movies, I think. Yeah. Or we try something really groundbreaking. Okay. Oh, really? Hi, everybody. It's Ryan. Oh my god, uh, if you watch this speech meeting, felt like I was watching the whole movie. That is, I have seen this movie long time ago. Yeah, but this Maze Runner movies are not my favorite, but I don't dislike them either. Though this is one of those movies, you know, they're not that bad either. I like the idea about that. Which one was uh, Hayden Christensen in? Was it in this franchise or not? Then I'm totally confused. But this speech meeting was really good and that was my reaction on it. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this speech meeting? And if you enjoyed my best reaction, do watch my other reaction on my playlist speech meeting reaction. If you choose this, please subscribe until I see you next time. Please take care.